Eight of tubers, right next Brian here. Per the request of, or the suggestion of a fellow YouTuber, um, suggested me to check the compression on the uh, Honda's engine. Uh, I've already done the cylinder once, but I'll do it again for camera. And it's not get, it's not doing too good. That is the front cylinder, just over 90 pounds. About 95 pounds of pressure. Turn that off so my fuel pump doesn't run. So yeah, I think the front cylinder is the bad one. Now let's uh, do the back cylinder. Try to do this with one hand so I can keep my hand on the camera. This motor has needed uh, either a valve job or head gaskets since I bought it, so. There we go. And there's definitely something drawing on the battery because I came out here and the battery was, was fairly low. Um, mind you, that battery hasn't been charged in quite a while either, so. Do that again. This one's got right around a hundred. So I do not remember what this motor was when I got it, um, when I first did the very first test on it. But she definitely does need a head gasket or the valves. Um, the tuber, uh, jumper pack. The tuber that's a, that uh, met, left a comment uh, was saying that it could be the uh, valves need to be done, which is a strong possibility. But to do the valves, uh, you might as well do the head gasket. So, um, so yeah, that's the issues, minor issues. Let's um, see if I can do this quick enough and fire this thing up. Let's just see if I can do a quick fire up on this. See, it, it starts up really, really good. But like I said in the previous video, it only runs on the one cylinder at first startup. Let's try and get this in there. There we go, one down. It might have got a little wet, but who cares? Put them in by hand first, and I got the ratchet ready. And it's got to pop on the wires. Okay. Back one, front one. On this one there's no obvious head leaks um, like you don't even hear any valve valve noises on this like you did with the other engine so my guess is there could be the valves are out, are out. Um, 
like offhand that is my guess because even fellow youtubers were saying on the other engine you could hear the you could hear the uh, exhaust valve ticking and I could hear it too whenever it would run on that one really really bad cylinder so this thing has no noise like that at all um, so I'm thinking the valves are out of alignment uh, it might not even be the heads it might not even be the head gasket that's just the the valves being out of alignment or the valves just need, needs a valve job done so my th next step I think I'm going to do to this is see I just don't really want to do anything to it and have it out of commission and also I don't have the money to put into it right now so jumper pack down next thing I think I'm going to do is pull off the intake uh, the intake breather and pull the uh, valve cover off and just, just take a look see if there's maybe a bent valve in there or something that or something that's not sealing and uh, price out a head gasket because my parts guy was saying it, it's really expensive to get parts for these for the engines in these and so I I know of a uh, internet site where I can get Honda parts off of so then I might just put a head gasket in it and then just send the head out to my mechanic and he'll be able to redo the head uh, relap the valves and do all that nice lovely stuff and then but the only thing is while you're in there you might as well do the timing belt too so maybe uh, winter project uh, with the other tractors sitting in there I can easily push it out in the winter time just hook it to the bowlins and pull it out with the bowlins or something all during the winter and I can get this in there pull the motor out like I did last winter and uh, do something like that but let's see if it'll fire up Nah, matters too long. I'm gonna stick it on the charger as well so so yeah that's, that's the compression test on here so almost a hundred pounds on each cylinder which I know is low so I will talk to everyone later. Um, keep it redneck and uh, please subscribe and comment.